Hi, Jacob from Telos here. If you happen to have a Ledger hardware device laying around and you're looking to add an extra layer of security to your native Telos transactions, then this is the video for you. In this one, I'll go over how you can use Anchor to create a native account that can be used with your Ledger hardware wallet. So before we get started, make sure you have the EOS app installed on your device and you enable contract data. You can do this by going into the EOS app on your device. In the EOS app settings, you'll want to allow contract data by pressing both buttons at once. Now let's head over to the Anchor desktop dashboard. If you don't have the Anchor app, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. Hover over this icon on the top right and click it. Here you can see whether or not your ledger is connected. To ensure it's connected, make sure your ledger is plugged in, unlocked, and you have the EOS app open on the device. If you are still running into issues, you can disable and re-enable ledger support. Once you're connected, head over to Tools in the menu on the left. Find Hardware Wallet Support and click Ledger. Now click Load Public Key and now confirm the public key. When pressing that button, you'll then have to confirm on your Ledger device. Once you have confirmed on your Ledger device, let's take that public key and copy it. Now we'll need to head over to eosauthority.com. Once you're here, you want to switch from the EOS network to the Telos network. Now that the Telos network is selected, let's head to the top menu here and find Create Account. Here is where we're going to paste the public key that we copied. You'll also have to come up with a 12 character account name. But if you're having a hard time doing that, you can press Generate Random Name here. We will have to pay a small fee to create this account. I've found the easiest way to go about this is to sign in to an existing account. If you don't have a native Telus account already created, I'll also make sure to leave a video on how to do that in the description. Let's press Add Account. I'll be signing via Anchor off screen. And just like that, I'm logged in and ready to go. This transaction should now go a lot smoother. Here, you'll want to press Use My Own Key instead. And you'll want to paste in the key that we received earlier. Now that we have that key pasted in, let's press Create Account. You'll then want to use the Anchor app to sign for the transaction. Now that our transaction is successful, we should be able to import our new account into Anchor. If you use EOS Authority often, you may want to add this account, but you don't have to do this. Now let's head back to the Anchor dashboard. Once you're back here, you want to do the same things we did before. You want to make sure your Ledger device is plugged in, unlocked, and you have the EOS app open and ready to go. Now from here, you can click on Manage Wallets and Import Account. We want to import an existing account and we want to load it from our Ledger device. If you've done everything right up until this point, then the account we just created should show up here. Let's select the active one and then press Import Account. If you have multiple wallets loaded within the Anchor app, you can swap between them by clicking Use Wallet. Let's swap to our newly created account. And like that, we're ready to go. So that's how you use your Ledger device with Anchor to create a new account. But before I let you guys go, let's see how this works in the wild and give it a test run. I'll be signing into the account using wallet.telos.net. It's Telos's web wallet. This happens to be one of my favorite tools to manage my native accounts. So let's try it out. Let's press connect wallet, select Anchor, press launch Anchor, open Anchor wallet, and then you'll get this pop-up. Like always, make sure your ledger is plugged in, unlocked, and you have the EOS app ready to go. Now let's prove our identity by pressing this green button here. 
And now on your ledger device, you'll have to review the transaction. You can scroll through and sign the transaction by clicking with both fingers simultaneously. Now that we've signed with our ledger device, we're logged in to our Telus wallet. Now all transactions on this account, whether you're sending Telos to an EVM address or staking your Telos, will require that you sign with your ledger. So that's pretty much it. You should be ready to go. If you're someone who's pretty active on the Telos EVM, and you also want to learn how to connect your ledger device to your MetaMask account, there's a video for that too. I'll be sure to leave that in the description below. Before you go, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, to stay caught up with all things Telos, please follow us on Twitter at HelloTelos. Links to our Twitter and all other social media accounts can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.